Hi guys, today we are going to be making what I call corned beef hot pot and all we need is carrots, potatoes and two cans of corned beef. So we're going to just prep everything first and I'll show you how I build it up, right? I'm not going to peel nothing, it's all going to be a rustic hearty dish. Chop the ends off. Right, so I've chopped three carrots there, there are three large carrots. Now we'll do the potatoes. Just need to slice these just the same way. Next we need to chop the corned beef up. There you are. So we'll just dice this up. washer guys it's always on in the background <laughs> there you are do the other can the same almost forgot some onions guys I'm just gonna put one red onion in and hopefully they'll just dissolve and the boils won't realize there's any in So this is basically all the mixed up veg, the corned beef, the onions, the carrots, the potatoes mixed in there. The final layer is just to place the potatoes over the top there. potatoes to cover it all. Now I'm gonna make some now I'm gonna make some gravy for the gravy. Just do a bit of water gravy granules. You can add more granules if it isn't thick enough. 
but that's usually the amount I need. You need a quite a thick gravy because when you put it in the oven, the steam waters it down again, so if anything, make it too thick. Put a bit more granules in. Because like I said, I want it to be thick. There you can see. Thick there. Now we'll pour it over the hot pot. Now be careful, start in the middle for any spillages. Just let it sink down. oven it'll all seep down through everything. I'm going to cover this with foil and then put it in the oven for an hour, take the foil off, put it in for another hour. So two hours in all. in the oven now for an hour. I'll take it out, take the foil off and put it in for another hour. There it is guys. Oh, oh, oh. Lovely. And the lovely yolk of buttons. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. Whew, I'm sweating guys, but here it is, corn beef hot pot. Lovely carrots, potatoes, onions, corn beef and Yorkshire puddings at the back there. Lovely hearty homemade winter style meal here. So yeah, hope you're all doing good. Let's get eating guys very hot it's just literally come out the oven it's been in like about two and a half hours so i'm hoping everything's nice and soft mm -hmm. mm. oh that's lovely that tell you what's also nice on this but i don't think we've got any brown sauce is also nice over this hot pot oh boiling yeah it's those winter months now isn't it guys I have to start um making some comfort food corned beef and carrot there Mm. Yeah, I've got plenty of Yorkshire puddings. You need lots of Yorkies with this. Lovely jubbly, look at that. Top. Mm. It's 
because I'm rushing. I'm eating too fast because I'm hungry. Where have I put my drink? Two seconds, I got my drink. I forgot I had put it in the freezer. I keep it nice and cold. <sighs> Lovely. So how is all doing, everyone? Happy Sunday. We've had the Christmas feels today. We've had a mixture of feels. We've been doing Halloween crafts, making some Halloween stuff. Um, that was on yesterday, Saturday. And today, just I've just had like a Christmas feeling. There's like loads of posts on Instagram. Like streets full of snow, like as if it's like a little video of a lovely, pretty street full of snow and Christmas lights that just look so beautiful. There's been loads of them on Instagram, so that's probably why I feel a bit Christmassy. I've just literally muted the TV because Kenny's got the Christmas songs on. <laughs> Lovely and salty, the corned beef. So cheap to make as well. Really cheap. And it makes a massive pan. There's still loads left. Mmm. Oh, that one's a soggy one. Oh, Kenny's just nipped up the level and he come back with these. He said, I've got your next uh, mukbang meal. He brought these home littles, got like a big American. Oh, bit at the minute. Barbecue foot long hot dogs. And he bought some lovely pot baked French baguettes to go in. So that's going to probably be the next video, guys. Are you doing it with this, Ken? So that was a good idea from Ken. Look lovely, them hot dogs are massive. I'll do some onion rings and stuff with it. Mm. I'm doing nothing this weekend. Mm. Guys, I can't wait to see my roots. Call me to get my hair done. I think it's next Saturday. Is that the 23rd? You can even see underneath right, where it's jet black. Obviously, because with this bleach in it now, it's a proper jet black line when my roots come through. So, can't wait to get that done. Tone it down a bit for over the winter. It'll still like look mainly blonde, but it'll have like brown streaks through it. Just coming to do a patch test just to make sure I like her. I won't react to her colour um, on the 21st and then on the 23rd I'm getting it done. Mm. You know a little can of corned beef goes such a long way. Well I use two but you know what I mean. Mm. Delicious. I as well, um, you know I went to um, Spencer's High school on Thursday night. He absolutely loved it and what a lovely high school it is. Um, Obviously you had to book certain time like there was quite a few like mams and kids and dads and kids but like you only had like three times to book so we went for 20 past six and there was a queue already there. So what they done we went in the hall we're all staggered out well for you know for Covid and stuff. Um, the head teacher gave a nice speech, welcomed, welcomed everyone. And then what they've done is the older kids, they had some of the, like this year's year sevens, and some older kids like taking all the parents round, like you all were like went in a group, I think it was like groups of, I think it was groups of 12. And then the kids took you all around the school, but obviously they all went different directions, so we all weren't going in the same classes. And in every class, like just say in the sports hall, 
There was like loads of kids on the trampoline playing badminton, ping pong, basketball. So like every room you went in, kids were already in that room doing the work they would do on a day to day basis. So like the new kids could see like what they get up to in them lessons. Spencer absolutely loved um one of the first ones we went in was the drama class. And to me it was like um like an American kind of school because the school I went and what Ellis went to was like a Catholic school. And I mean it might be changed now but um it didn't seem to have half as much fun stuff in. Like the Catholic schools are which is fair to us, like they're more for like um giving rather than like they would rather like do collections and stuff and give to charity whereas these kind of schools I mean it might have changed like I said now but when I was there that's all it really was we never went on no school trips or nothing once I think I went on two school trips in the whole of me high school um where this school seems to put all like attention on the pupils taking them all different places and that and just putting money back into the school and stuff and so yeah, um, we loved the drama class and when we, went, when we went into the drama class there was like loads of girls there and there was one boy, bless him, uh, and they were doing, oh, I think it was Annie, they must be learning Annie at the minute. So there was like girls lying on the floor, it was like, it must have been like when they were in the dorm room and um, the teacher like just like got all stand around while they'd done the little like part of the play. And they were really, really good. I think kids these days are like, they're dead confident. Like if I was at school, I would have been so shy to do that. But even the kids taking all the parents around the classrooms were like so confident, just talking, asking you questions and that. I thought, God, like they've really got loads of confidence kids these days. Uh, yeah, so we loved the drama. And then the next room was the do dance and stuff. And uh, he loved the music room. You know, when I was at school, you'd be lucky if you learned the keyboard the flipping, what that's called? What's that thing you blow in, Ken? Trumpet. Recorder. Trumpet. No, the recorder. Um, and maybe the drums, there was a drum kit there and that was quite new. It came in like later on. Uh, but this one, they'll do IMAX, learn how to produce music and there's just so much more they can learn. Just say this is like an after school club for most of these things. And like you pay like forty pound a term. And I thought, well, that's really. I would gladly pay that if Spencer really got into something like that. So he loved the music and the drama. And then his next one was science. We went in the science room, and they had like a sheep's heart, lungs, kidneys, all in like. And like the girls that were already there were getting obviously had to put gloves and that on. And he was having a hold of them all, and he was obviously grossed out, but he was loving it at the same time. And then there was loads of um. What the cost? Uh, not binoculars, but what you look through, like on a science lab. Microscope. Is it a microscope? Aye. There was loads of them set up, ready for you to look through, like with all the little things. And there was one I went for. That's a zombie blood one. Do you know, like when you watch zombie movies, and it just looks like loads of like blood mutating. Um. So that was good. He loved the science lab. Um. And then next door to that lab, that was more like a biology kind of one. Next door was where they had all the bunts and burners and stuff out. And there was teachers all set up around the tables. Um, and there was like a dish of bubbling water, which obviously had some chemical in. And then when the teacher lit it, it was just a massive big like fireball. Uh, so Spencer loved that. There was loads of smoke and that around. And then um, what else was in that room? Oh, there was like a smoke machine. And like you could collect the smoke in the gun and then like use the elastic band to ping it and then the smoke ball would like go and hit someone so that was fun and then uh, two other girls had like a Bunsen burner each and had some kind of liquid spray and one when sprayed the fire was green and one was gold which basically just looked like the normal flame but he loved the science labs And then there was like a, um, 
I, I, I don't actually know what it was. I, I would say it was history. But they had like little um, tables set up with like kids. One was like um, how they avoided the plague and that and they wear them horrible pointy masks so they didn't catch like the plague. And how they would tell if people's got different diseases of the urine and all that and um oh what's that um doctor a lady doctor years ago well obviously in the olden days anyway she was like dressed up as if she was treating someone and then it showed you another girl had like loads of blood on her it was henry the eighth actually she was dressed up as henry the eighth and she had blood on and leeches on her arm obviously fake ones um that's how they get rid of i don't know what they got rid of through leeches but oh he said something like because he had too much blood or something so he was getting leeches drained with loads of really good stuff and then towards the end the like the bell went and um that was time to go to the dinner hall and the kitchen had like loads of little samples of what what like they would usually like sell at dinner time more like the hot meal stuff obviously she said we're not going to put like the pizzas and stuff and chips on you know what them taste like but it was just like the hot meals little samples and they were really nice i got the little chicken curry spencer got the meatballs and uh the canteen was lovely was dying like he was just, like because you could see all the pop and all that behind where the samples were and you could see what else the salt was you had God, can we buy all this at dinner time? I went, yeah, it's much better high school food. <laughs> but he thoroughly enjoyed it. And he's really looking forward to it. Mm. Oh, sorry for that scraping. You'd think they would have done it like close out of the time. I think um, you get another one. Because you don't find out if you've got a place in the school until January, I don't think. January or February. So, fingers crossed he does get in there. Oh, them uh, carrots are dead, sweet. That's all the excitement I've got to tell you guys. Oh the man, I'm trying to think what I told you last time on my last video. I've done the video before the man came to fix me washer, didn't I? Who came and fixed it? He actually came early, was ahead of schedule. He rang it just literally after I'd done my video and says, um, is it okay if I come now because I'm ahead of my schedule? I went, yeah, I prefer to come earlier. Um, <clears throat> so he was, yeah, I think it was just after 12, so that was good. Because I, you know, I was worried in case he um, didn't get here for the school run. But it's all fixed now, guys. Leave me wash her again. So that was Thursday. Um, <clears throat> Friday morning went me Nana's. And then Alice picked us up when then finished at half twelve and then that's it. Got a little drink on Friday night. Just normal. Now it's Sunday. Weekend's gone already. <laughs> well, I'm stuffed. That was delicious. And I can't wait to eat these. This will be Tuesday's video, guys. Nice big foot long barbecue hot dogs. Can't wait to see what them taste like. Pardon me. Right, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. You'll have an ASMR video on my ASMR channel tomorrow, guys. So go and check my ASMR channel. The link for that's in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.